it's ladybug anyway with another tutorial as you can see i did not record the eyebrow portion of the video so we'll be starting with eyeshadow today i'll be going in with the you can be my honey palette in the brown shade and all i'm doing here is patting and swiping along the lid Now it's time for the other side. Now I'll be using a rounded, sort of pointy, fluffy brush to blend out that brown shade. Now I'm going in with the same palette, but in the yellow shade. I'm blending from under my brow on down to the brown shade. I'm using a pointed fluffy brush. Now I'm going to go back in with the brown shade and I'm going to go small circular motions between where the brown and the yellow meet just to make it transition. Now I'm using the Global Beauty Care Makeup Cleansing Wipes with Aloe Vera Extract. Now I'm just going to go in and create a wing with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in black.
After I create my wings, I'm just going to trace above my top lash line, but I'm not going too far up, just enough so you can see a line. I'll be starting from the inner corner of my eye, tracing just above the top lash line to connect the liner in the middle. Now I'll be putting a few layers of an off-brand 4D Fiber Lash Extension Mascara. Now I'll be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in Toffee. I'm just going to smear it all over my face. and some of my neck. And I'm also going in with the same stick foundation in Golden Honey for the middle of my face. Now I'm going to be using a large sort of flat fluffy brush to blend all of that out. I like the way the stick foundation feels when I applied it to my skin. It feels warm and smooth. This is my first time trying this and I think it's going to be alright. So first impression so far so good. It's just a little too light which that was my fault because I ordered because I ordered it but other than that we'll see how it goes. Now I'll be using a damp beauty blender to blend it all out. I had to add some Fenty Beauty on top because it didn't seem like it was blending out well for me. So Fenty came in to save the day. Rubbing it out and blending it in with that same brush that I used before and the beauty blender. At this point, I was kind of like annoyed because it was not blending out right. I kept seeing lines and the beauty blender marks in my makeup. So I just kept blending it <laughs> and making faces and just doing what I had to do. <laughs> I'm going back in with that same pointed fluffy brush and I'm patting more of that yellow shade because the palette isn't as pigmented as I thought or even wanted it to be. So as you can see, I had to keep layering. Now it's time to set my face with the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Wear Matte Finish. Now I'm going to use a medium fat sort of curved or rounded brush and I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Painters Palette, the Fantasy Makers and She Wolf. I'm just using that brown shade to contour my face above my brows right 
under my hairline on my forehead my cheekbones along my jawline and chin under my lip and a little under my liner on my eyes And I'm going to use the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Bronze Glow. And I'm also going to use a rounded fluffy brush to blend all of that contour out. Going in with a small rounded flat brush to contour my nose with that same brown shade from the Fantasy Makers palette. Going under my nose, right on my bridge but on the bottom part of the bridge to give it a little more shape along the sides of my nose going up my bridge and blending it into my eyebrows. And then I'm also just going to make a small circle around the tip of my nose to give it more shape. I'll be using the same brush and going back into that Black Radiance Bronze Glow Pressed Powder and I'm just going to blend all the cream from the Fantasy Makers palette out. At this point I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation anymore but once I started contouring my face I felt a little more confident that it would turn out good. Um, first impressions I know I liked it at first how it went on and that still stands but the way it blended out just sucked I don't know if it was my beauty blender being too wet or if maybe I should have just used a brush but I'll try different combinations now I'm just going to blend out my contour a little more with that same medium rounded fluffy brush It's time to set my face again. I'm gonna spray it and let it dry. I'll be using the same angled flat brush that I use for my brows. And I'm also going in with a gel eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar in black. And I'm just gonna underline my bottom lid not too much, but just enough to see the liner. Now I'm going to go in with that same brush and I'm going to use the All Nighter shade from the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette just to blend out and set that black gel eyeliner under my lids.
I'm going to use another small flat brush to go back into that yellow from the You Can Be My Honey palette and I'm going to go right where the black meets my skin to blend it out with the yellow just to give it a little more life and color under my eyes. And now I'm going to use this sort of shimmery gold shade and I'm going to take a small flat brush and just swipe over my lids to brighten them up and make them look a little more noticeable. Just a little bit over the brown shade. I'll be taking a small fluffy angled brush and using that same goldish yellowish color and highlighting under my brows and all the high points of my face. I'll be doing the tip of my nose, the middle of the bridge of my nose right in between where my eyes are, my cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I'm using a medium sized rounded fluffy highlighter brush to get the bigger spots on my face aka my cheekbones, my chin and a little bit on my nose and I'm also using that brush with a leftover highlighter to blend out the highlighter that's under my brows just so the line won't be so harsh. The theme for this makeup look was supposed to be yellow slash gold so even though I had to layer on the eyeshadow and the mess, uh, not the mascara, the foundation from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus didn't really blend all that good. I did get it situated by the end of the video but I think that the yellow theme, it turned out really good. but. There are some things that I like and that I didn't like, so. Now it's time for the Magnetic Eyeliner and Lashes. I'll be using the top pair this time. It'll be my first time using them. I don't know. I don't really like to be too extravagant, but we'll see. I am lining my top lid just on the lash line. I'm not winging the liner. I'm using a spoolie to clean and separate my lashes because the liner gets on my lashes. I guess it's because they curl up a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm using a spoolie to just separate those and clean them off. I'm gonna put about 
three coats and let them each dry completely before I put on the next coat. And now it's time to stick these babies on and see how they look. I actually thought they looked pretty good. They're still a little too long for me, but I think they look really nice. And now I'll be lining my lips with the LA Colors Lip Liner Pencil in Forever Red. I love a nice nude lip, which my last few videos were nudes, but I love a really nice matte red lip. That's why this time I had to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just going to fill in my lips with the LA Colors Matte Lipstick. It's a red shade. I can't really see the actual name right now, but I'll put everything down in the description box. I won't leave you guys hanging. I promise. <laughs> I'll be cleaning up the lipstick around my lips because I went over a little bit. I'll be using that Fenty and I'll be going in with a flat rounded shape brush and I'm just basically using the red that I don't want. Now I'm using a small rounded fluffy brush to blend all of that out and make my lips look more uniform and normal. <laughs> and now I'll be going in back with that same yellow shade over my lids once again. Like I said, it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was or that I wanted it to be. So layer, layer, layer. Now I'm going in with my empty brush to blend that out. And now to add the finishing touches. Alright guys, so here's the finished look. I definitely had to match my sweater with it. I think I look so cute. <laughs> if you guys like it, you already know what to do. Show some love. Peace.